So we're learning there are yards and then there are yards, right? <laughs> Spaces that are well landscaped, they're beautifully yeah. manicured, they function year round. Mm, if this warmer weather has you searching for inspiration, we understand we are right there with you. That's why we're glad to welcome this gentleman. This to the guy show. right here, Matt Kaiser, hey KM Landscaping. Yes. Good to see you. Love your work. Oh, thank Great you. Great to have you here. Yeah, thank we you. talked some good stuff. Uh, it was last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, I think really last week. Really cool projects. Yep. Uh, but let's back up a little bit. Remind people exactly what you do, what type of landscaping. Well, we're a landscape design build company. So basically, we come in, uh, usually have a need for us, like you want your front yard to look nice or the backyard or whatever the case may be. Maybe you got a problem, a water problem, mm -hmm. or so, so on and so forth, retaining walls, things of that nature. But we'll come in, meet with you, and sit down and really discuss what it is you're looking for and yeah. really get to kind of know you. Uh -huh. And then from there, we'll drop some plans and give you a very detailed, itemized estimate so you know exactly what you're getting so there's just no surprises. So people in California, people in Florida, they can use their outdoor space year round. Right. For the the most part in Nebraska, can we? Can you give us projects that are really? I mean, even when it's yeah. colder out, that you we know, can use. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, what, the things that we try to focus on is, is, you know, with the front of your house is a little bit different approach than the back of your house. Yeah. Front of the house, we want it to look good, 365 days a year, uh -huh. and so there's a nice balance of plant material and uh, you know evergreens and perennials and shrubs to kind of give you that year-round So that interest. it's not all brown and gray and dead. Yeah, you know, there's nothing worse than driving up to your house on <laughs> February 3rd and like, oh gosh. You yeah, know, I, mean, I know. It does create a lot of spring fever, but you know, we like to kind of give you a nice package. And, yes. then, and then as far as your backyard's concerned, you know, your backyard's really your living space. And you know, we really want that to look good year-round. And mm -hmm. we kind of take the same approach with the plant material, uh, but also just in general, just the environment. You know, you're looking out your back windows in the winter and you want to be able to see something that, you know, kind of incites or invites you to be outside. So yes. we really focus all, all of that. It's just kind of the whole pit, big picture as far as the environment's concerned. Mm -hmm. You know, really in my yard, I have a problem with water. It kind of settles mm -hmm. in different places. Yeah. And, you know, good landscapers, and, and you utilize water to help make a difference in the landscape. And even landscape water plan. features. Water yep. features. Yep, yep, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Water is a huge issue for us. I mean, it's the number one destructive force on the earth, and, but it's also about the most important thing on the earth. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of good and bad. <laughs> good yeah, but you know what's what's uh, what's interesting is is that well, yeah we can do some great things with water features mm -hmm. and really create some great sounds and interests, uh, and then also water problems. I mean, we deal a lot with trying to you know get people's backyards to drain better, or you know hey you know, we got this large amount of water that flows down in heavy rains. I mean, just a lot of different things that we have to focus on and try mm -hmm. to find solutions for. I'd love so. to look at some. Pictures because yeah. I feel like you're. Well, this is the best part, right? The, yeah, the pictures work are you guys fun. do. So this is kind of where it where it all starts, right? Yeah. So the homeowner, it's not just in their imagination, but yeah. you're giving them something physical to look at. Exactly. We meet with them, sat down, kind of come up with just some uh, some ideas with some plans. Uh, we'll sit down and we'll draw them all up. We give you a nice presentation, bring them back nice and colored to you. So again, uh -huh. you have a real good visual. Yeah. You're looking and for. then something like this, to me, this is a dream because when, you know, Memorial Day is coming up. You want to have friends and family over and you want oh, yeah. to be able to enjoy that space. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, what's funny is those backyard spaces are just becoming such an important part of your, your living experience, mm -hmm. you know. The, the 12 by 12 pad just doesn't cut it anymore. No, it's I mean, really an extension of your house. It it's is. like a whole third room. And yeah. the water features yeah, here. Yeah, that's where Connie's house, you know, she loves that pond. She gets all kinds of birds over there. And uh -huh. <laughs> well, and that's <laughs> part of the, the sensory experience, too, that when you're just sitting out relaxing, yeah. maybe with a glass of wine, as yep. we were just doing, yep. yeah. you hear the water, too. The water is fantastic, that, you know. And mm -hmm. Like here in this one, this one, what's real important here is the shade that those trees give. You know, shades yeah. are also really big. And it's the landscaping around those trees that you've yep. been able to enhance. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. The landscaping around. I mean, everything just kind of works together. So you got to have all the parts and pieces together. What did these homeowners want? <laughs> There's a, are those pergolas up top? Uh, well, they're, they're we kinda, got. They're kind of like. No, they're small, really a pergola, more right. of a wood feature. It's kind, kind of, of a design, uh, yeah. awning. Let him explain it. Awning, he made it. Yeah, but he, he built he's it. He's trying to figure out what they are. Uh, <laughs> Jamie and Marshall did this one. This one's from about 2007, I believe. Six, maybe. Uh, this was a great big elevated patio. It's about yeah. nine foot off the ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, really a fun project. Um, uh, lots and lots of sand at that project. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what you remember from This, that, huh? to me, this is what you see in some of the nicest neighborhoods in the city. Mm -hmm. um, it's that elevation. It's the life in front of the home. Yep. And it all comes together yep. beautifully. Yeah, and something that was real what I wanted to show you guys this picture is, is that what's important is that you got to have it look good 365 days a year. This is a picture from, I believe, late fall over at Brent, Brent and Pam's house. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, you're getting some fall colors. And there. I just wanted to kind of show you. I mean, that's a really important part. You know, 
the landscape's not just important in May and June, it's important yeah. in November as well. What's the single biggest, I and mean, maybe it's not just one, this is a really nice picture. Yeah, oh, I love this outdoor. It's gorgeous. Yeah, that's a great feature. I'd what's, love to take a seat what, <laughs> there. What is, uh, what's some of the biggest trends you're seeing, or maybe one big trend that you're seeing? Is it these, you know, outdoor fireplaces? I mean, you see those a lot. Yeah. Uh, backyard experiences and environments are, are a huge trend right now. Um, but some of the trends that we're seeing just really immediately, though, um, besides the backyard, are plants. Mm -hmm. um, this winter was incredibly difficult. The 18 years I've been in business, I've never had a winter this, that we've had probably as much um, uh, winter kill. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of need out there for new yeah. plants. I've noticed a lot of my stuff's not coming back this yeah. year. Yeah, and so that's a big trend right now. And then also, like I said, the backyard environments, really big because it just really gives you something that you can you know enjoy yeah. you know it's kind of functional landscaping mm -hmm. you know it's not just something to look at it's mm -hmm. actually you can get into it and enjoy it you know what i like about you well a couple things you're experienced mm -hmm. which is super important to homeowners but you're passionate about what you do yeah. let's show you some information about how to get in touch with km landscaping and while we look at this what do you love most about your job well, about my job, you know, I love the people. Uh, it's an awesome experience every day that I probably deal with seven, eight, ten different types of people, mm -hmm. whether it's on the business side or whether it's on the, uh, the uh, customer side. Yeah. And so I just get so many interactions. I love that. And I love really just, you know, making people happy and, and, and creating something that they, they'll be proud of mm -hmm. and that, you know, a year from now they like, ten years from now they like, you know, and yeah. they, they tell their friends. You know, the majority of our business comes from referrals and we just really appreciate every opportunity we get to do that. I love it. AMLandscaping.com. And I got to ask you about, you know, I get some new plants in. The mm -hmm. rabbits just go after these things. You can this is on it. the commercial break. I'll talk to you after that. Really right, great to have Thanks. you here. BB Thanks guns. That's all I can say. We we're, do not endorse that. No. That's, they are good. Uh, <laughs> we're excited. <laughs> uh, comedian Mike Verbiglia will be in studio next week. I don't know. You could be a comedian too, Matt. Oh, uh, yeah. Win tickets to see Mike perform. Register for your chance to win. Head to OmahaMorningBlend.com and click on contests and giveaways. We'll pick today's winner at random at 2 p.m. I was worried about the word turd drawing some phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, still to come, the movie featuring two faces familiar to Omahans and why our city was selected for the world premiere. And on the other side of the break, why Mother Monster tweeted something we couldn't resist sharing with you.